Alright, so we're going to move on to the co-main event of the evening. Here we go. Uh, we've got Yaya Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. Now, if this was a dick slinging competition, I'd have to go with Sweet Boy Ortega. A disadvantage, uh... unfortunately, for him does not apply here. Now, here's the thing for me. Um, Ortega is obviously elite on the ground. He might be the best in the division. But I feel like Yair is no joke down there either, really. The issue for me in this one is when you look at the striking, that's where you see the real disparity here. It's literally like night and day. I think Yair is far superior in that realm. And that Ortega is going to have to spend significant time playing there in order to take it to his realm. Now, I don't mind people picking Brian Ortega. You know, the last fight ended in really unfortunate circumstances, so we don't really have much tape to go on in terms of how we can study this. Like, Yair got thrown down really nicely in that fight, but then it was actually his scramble that caused the injury. Uh, I think that Yair is going to piece him up when he's standing and he's going to wear him out. Like, I think Ortega's very good, but he's also very hittable. And I can picture him, I can picture his face at the end of this one, just being battered. You know, very similar to how it was when he fought Max Holloway. I just, I rate Yair so highly. And the reason why I feel like I may be picking this as well is I want him to launch himself into a fight with Tapuria. You know, I think Ortega's been very inactive. He's been rehabilitating an injury. So for all those reasons, I'm taking the Mexican. I'm taking Yair Rodriguez. Yeah, it's hard to argue that. Um, it, it, ring rust, people say that it's not real. It's real, man. Like, if you haven't been doing something um, for a while and then you, you pick it back up in front of a ton of people, you're going to be timid. You're going to be reluctant. You're going to second guess everything that you're doing. It's real. It's real. As a matter of fact, I was watching an interview earlier um, and Floyd Mayweather was talking about when he was um, fighting Shane Mosley and he got hit the hardest that he's ever been hit. He, he had never been dropped to that point. And the reason that he got dropped is because he said he had been away from boxing for like three years. And that when he got hit with eight ounce gloves, he was just, it was a shock to his system. I think we see a very similar thing here with Brian Ortega. He hasn't been in there. Yeah, sparring is one thing, but fighting for money in front of a whole bunch of people is totally different. And add in the fact that, you know, not only has he been away, but he is of Mexican heritage as well. So mm -hmm. that pour that little, you know, piece on and we got a, a, um, a, a nice recipe for Yair to walk away with a win. And I think that um, he, he uses his range. He uses his kicks. He's unpredictable. Just like I said about Zell Huber, Yair is mm -hmm. going to do the same thing. But he's going to do it at a different level because he's better. And I think that he takes this win. And hopefully it's in impressive fashion. And he gets on the mic and he calls out to Poria. Like, that is the perfect oh, way for that will. to go. He hates that dude. And... I mean, I'm I'm here for it. Like that's the fight that I want to see in Spain. I see that. When I did the uh, Monday morning matchups, this is the fight that I brought up. Like I want first, to see that fight. First. Yeah, I want to see that yeah. fight in Spain. Do you know how big that would be? That would be massive, massive, and it'll be a yeah. really great fight too. I believe so. so and I, again, uh, I, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to jinx it too much, but I think stylistically. We saw what happened with Jai Herbert and um, Tapuri, and I know it's, you know, it's a lot to, it's a big leap to take. But Jai Herbert is a less skilled kickboxing star guy, you know, uses a lot of kicks, and Tapuri struggled with that early on. And there is nobody better than that in the mm -hmm. division, maybe even in the UFC than Yair Rodriguez. So he's the only one I see as a potential banana skin right now, which is why I want to see it. Yeah, it's that fight. Mm. 
and they hate each other. Well, we know one of them definitely does. Yeah. So, for sure, it makes for interesting spice. 